You're welcome to Beyond the Cradle. The hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. When baby's uh, baby food in the feeding bottle is getting cold and we want to warm it up for baby so that we don't give baby cold food, we have the advantage of either using an electric feeding bottle warmer or a manual feeding bottle warmer. So what we do is we put water in this electric feeding bottle warmer, bring out the feeding bottle, put it into the electric feeder warmer and switch it on to allow the water in it to get warm. This process is safe in the kitchen environment where baby doesn't stay. Now, if we don't have this electrical system for warming feeding bottles, we can also use a manual system, which is this container here, and just pour hot water into it. And let it rest for some time, like five, five minutes, 10 minutes, and the milk inside the feeding bottle will warm up. Then we'll be able to feed baby. Now, if baby's food is too hot, this manual container or any other bowl you have in the house can also be used. So, if the food is too hot, we pour cold water into this bowl and then put the feeding bottle with the baby's milk in it to allow it to cool. Now you need to check on it probably every two minutes so that the food doesn't get too cold. And then the food is now ready for baby to drink. Now, if you are not feeding baby with the milk after preparing formula, it is very important that you keep the milk in what we call a food warmer. It's a mobile food warmer. It's insulated. It has a cover and you can also zip it for safety. This can be carried around anywhere in the house or even in the car or anywhere you go. It can be carried along with you with baby's prepared food. So when baby needs it, you just open it and bring out the feeding bottle. As you can see, this has two compartments. So you can have two different feeding bottles in it. And there you are. And baby is ready to feed.